know it's been a while since we have all been apart. Things have gotten crazier than any of us probably imagined. The words cannot describe how much I miss every single one of you, our team, this season, everything. I know times right now are causing many of us anxiety and stress in different ways. However, it is times like these that will define who we all are when met with adversity at this level. I'm sure many of you are feeling the same feelings right now. Frustration, anger, uneasiness, concern, scared of loss of control. But I want to assure you all that is okay. Do not bottle these feelings up. Speak with someone about how you are feeling. This will not make you weak because you are not alone. I guarantee all of us have experienced one of these feelings at least once since this all started. Together, this is how we will all get through this. At the moment, everything with our season is still at a standstill, and I wish I could tell you more, but we all know these are uncertain times. For some of you, this is your last high school season. For others, this may have been your last chance to grow on the field and in the classroom with your senior class. If you haven't already, reach out to them and see how your senior brothers are doing. I plan on reaching out to every single one of you, individually, as consistently as possible. We will come up with a plan to have a consistent way to just check in on each other, no matter what the circumstance. In regards to this whole situation, I hope everyone finds peace with everything going on. What do I mean by peace? I mean accepting this is reality and there are certain things that are out of our control. What is in our control is how we respond, our self-talk, and how we get through this together. Each of you need to think, I'm the one that is going to control whether or not I have a good day. All of us, we are the ones that will define whether or not this has a good or negative impact within our lives. No one ever knows what tomorrow holds, and death is inevitable. And typically, no one ever really knows when it is coming. All we can do is find a way to make the most out of today and plan for the best tomorrow adapt, and overcome. Three recommendations to keep moving forward and to gain back some control in uncertain times. First, I recommend everyone takes this seriously and does their part to minimize the spread of COVID-19 with social distancing and practicing good hygiene. The more we all do our part to minimize the spread, the quicker we can get rid of this. Second, start a morning routine if you haven't done so already. This will help you gain control of your day. It doesn't have to be every day, but it does need to be more days than not. Before you pick up your phone in the morning to surf social media, emails, text messages, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, figure out your own two priorities for the day. After that, figure out five tasks you want to accomplish that will help you and those around you to become better. I'll say this, exercise and meditation have been simple things that I try to make a habit in my own life that have made a massive impact on my own peace of mind during this situation. Lastly, use this time to invest in yourselves and truly learn about your strengths and your weaknesses. There are many ways we can grow through this. Some of those are starting an online business, reading about things that interest you and that you are truly passionate about. Some form of exercise is huge. Not having a gym is no excuse. Do not let being stuck at home be an excuse to slack off and get worse. Dr. Miles Monroe said, we don't decide our future, we decide our habits. Our habits decide our future, so if you have a habit of watching TV, your future is designed in that habit. Do not waste this time just watching Netflix and playing video games late at night. Customize your future and invest in you. If you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. This isn't going to be easy to get through, and some of us may never realize how much harder it will be for people who may have lost their jobs, their loved ones, or something they have worked so hard for. But we can, and we will get through this together as a family, and we will lead by example with positivity. And I promise, others will gravitate towards this positivity and do the same. Four things to ask yourself during these times. How can I grow through this? What can I give? What can I celebrate?
And why do I want the things that I want? Why do I want to play lacrosse? Why do I want to amass wealth? Play video games? Go to college? Work in a specific trade? Join the military? And so on. Never give up. Never give in to the negativity around you. And pick yourself and others up pushing yourself to be better every day and influencing those around you to be better, no matter the circumstance. It kills me to see something like this get in the way of our season, especially with how much fun it was. To date, I have not been a part of a season where I've seen everyone have so much fun, from the players all the way up to the coaches. I thank you all so much for the time we have had so far this year and the work you all have put in. And thank you to those of you who have checked up on me. It shows the growth of our program, the growth of our young men, and it means more to me than you could ever know. The season isn't over, and our mission isn't over. I told you all we had one main mission this year, and that was to build relationships and grow our love for each other as brothers. So if you all part from this video, and continue to reach out to each other, and you continue to grow together, and you continue to push each other regardless of your limits, and regardless of the situation, I'll consider this a successful season. Because if we're going to get through this, we're going to need each other. My prayers will be with all of you and your families for good health and peace of mind. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me or any of our coaches for anything. Attack, overcome, stay motivated. And if you're not motivated on certain days, stay driven and keep moving forward to make a difference and a better tomorrow. Coach Clark.